Hi Cancer, this is your November 1st through November 7th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and share this video to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the Five of Swords, we have the Magician clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, we have the King of Swords clarified by the Three of Pentacles, we have uh, the Ten of Cups with the Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands in the potential outcome and we also have the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with um, Air Sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, you could also be dealing with an Earth Sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're most likely dealing with this King of Swords, the card in the middle, which is clarified by the Three of Pentacles, Probably an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius or this is somebody who is very direct, very decisive. They've got their sword out and they're not afraid to use it. And um, what's interesting about this um, story here is that it, the two of you are going to get off on the wrong foot. Um, actually, it's going to be more dramatic than the, the wrong foot, right? The, the very first card that came out is the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is a card of a fight and uh, it often comes through as a fight where one of you wants to win at any cost or perhaps both of you want to win at any cost, no matter the circumstances, right? So this is how the two of you will get acquainted or already have gotten acquainted with the Five of Swords, right? But then I think this King of Swords will think about it and uh, they will admire the fact that uh, you are always ready to stand your ground. Uh, you will never let anybody mistreat you or behave in a bad way towards them, right? They're going to really like that about you, I think, right? And they're going to come back and uh, tell you, you know what, we got off on the wrong foot, so instead of fighting, instead of colliding, why don't we um, put our energies together, because we can make a great couple. So instead of fighting, we can conquer the world. Something, something like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> You're going to impress this person. Um, if, this already, if this has already happened, expect this person to come back. Um, the Magician, the next card that came out after the Five of Swords, is clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. It's the same person that the King with the King of Swords. This is them manifesting you into their life because they really like you, they were impressed with you. Right? Uh, the Magician is also a card of action, so they're not just manifesting you, they're not just sitting on their butt thinking about you, they're taking action. They're not going to come towards you, they will communicate with you, they will initiate this um, truce, I guess. <laughs> and uh, they want to move forward with you. The Magician is clarified by the Wheel of Fortune and the Wheel of Fortune is um, a card of uh, starting a new cycle, a very fortunate new cycle. The Wheel of Fortune is always good news in my spreads. Then we've got the King of Swords and the King of Swords is clarified by the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is a card of building a relationship together, making sure the foundation is solid because both of you want this to succeed, both of you want it to work out, both of you see the potential in it. The Three of Pentacles, like I said, is a card of collaboration. So like I said, this person sees you as somebody um, the two of you could build this empire together. <laughs> the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck all the way to right, that's you, Cancer, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. In the potential outcome we have the Ten of Cups with the Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. The Ten of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships, marriages. Uh, the Ten of Cups is one of the... Um, it's one of it's uh, it's the happily ever after card. That's what I'm trying to say. It's a family card, so if having children is still an option for you, the two of you could definitely have children together. The Knight of Pentacles, the next card over. This is uh, them being very serious. This is uh, an offer to take this relationship to that next level with the Ten of Cups. And uh, since the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight out of all four knights, they will think it through. So when they do offer you to take this relationship to the next level. And most likely the next level means marriage, <laughs> they will um, prepare for it, um, right? And uh, the 801s, the, the last card that came out, this is one of the fastest cards in the deck. 
And once that happens, there is no stopping of this relationship. You're moving forward. You're not looking back. The Eight of Wands is also a card of travel, so the two of you could travel together. The Eight of Wands is also a card of Cupid's arrows. So yeah, this person will be falling in love uh, with you because of uh, you standing your ground, because of uh, you not letting anybody, um, you know, mistreat you. <laughs> Right, and I think you're gonna be doing the right thing by standing your ground with the five of swords. So yeah, it's gonna this real this connection will have this rocky start with the five of swords, but then, um, like I said, the two of you instead of fighting and colliding, the two of you will decide to build this empire together because it's better to combine and join forces than fight each other. Right, and there is an amazing potential with the ten of cups and the knight of pentacles. And I really like the fact that both of you come through on the king and the queen level. That means that the two of you can definitely compromise and you're vibing on the same level. Really happy for you, Cancer. Congratulations. Cancer, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have um, the hangman clarified by the ten of swords. We have the king of wands. We have the magician clarified by the queen of wands. And we also have the two of cups on the bottom of the deck. I really like this spread, uh, Cancer. The two of you come through as the king and the queen of wands, right? So your significant other could be any zodiac sign, but what this means to me when I see the king and the queen of wands, the two of you are getting really active. And I do see the two of you taking action, especially if you've been sitting in a situation that hasn't been moving anywhere, right? Or you've been just two couch potatoes and uh, you need to... I get those New Year's resolution from last year <laughs> finally fulfilled because uh, uh, 2021 is coming to a close. You know, I'm, I'm joking, of course, I'm over-exaggerating, but I do see the two of you getting really active and starting starting something, right? Um, <laughs> so the, the hangman, the first card that came out, this is a card of stagnation, this is a card of nothing happening or a situation that is not moving anywhere. And uh, it's coming to an end because uh, the hangman is clarified by the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is a card of an abrupt ending, right? And like I said, with the King and the Queen of Wands, this is both of you getting more active and getting your butts off the couch and doing something. <laughs> the Magician, um, the, uh, the Queen of Wands is clarifying, is all about taking action, right? It's, uh, the Magician is a card of manifestation, but at the same time, this is a card of somebody who takes action because they know they've got all the tools they need at their disposal and then uh, they can utilize those tools. The two of cups on the bottom of the deck, this is both of you, this is the two of you in love and doing something together. Alright, so it's going to be a very dynamic, very active week for you and uh, your person, Cancer. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Cancer, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. We have the Six of Swords, clarified by the Three of Pentacles. We have the Five of Cups, clarified by the Knight of Wands. We have the Ten of Cups, and we also have the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or, or pretty much any Zodiac sign. Um, the person you're dealing with is the Knight of Wands, right there in the middle. Could be a Fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but I think the Knight of Wands, in this case, is somebody who is a little bit reckless, somebody who... Uh, doesn't want to settle down, somebody who doesn't take you seriously, uh, somebody who goes out to parties all the time. Uh, so this is the person coming back and they regret that they were the way they were. And now they are ready for a commitment. I don't know if you're going to care, <laughs> Cancer, that they're ready for that, but they really are. Right, so the Six of Swords, the first guy that came out um, is clarified by the Three of Pentacles. The Six of Swords in this case um, is them coming back. The Three of Pentacles is a card of collaboration. The Three of Pentacles is a card of somebody who is uh, ready to build or in this case rebuild this relationship from the ground up making sure the foundation is solid because like I said now they are ready for a commitment. That's what I believe the Three of Pentacles is about and that's what they'll talk to you about. They'll tell you that they are in love with you They'll tell you that they are now serious, they're stepping up, they are done with their player ways, they're no longer a party animal, right? Um, the next card over is the Five of Cups, which is clarified by the Knight of Wands. The Five of Cups is a card of a regret, and uh, like I said, they regret being that Knight of Wands, who is reckless, who is a party animal, and uh, yada, yada, yada. 
The Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right, this is a love offer, a very genuine and authentic love offer, right? So, um, this person looks like they are uh, a reformed player. <laughs> <laughs> they are no longer the way they used to be. The Ten of Cups right next to the deck, the last card I came out, this is a card of a family or a committed relationship. Um, the Ten of Cups is actually called the Happily Ever After card. So, uh, Cancer, if you are ready to accept this person back, if you believe them that they are now serious, they're stepping up, they're no longer reckless, then I think you can give them a second chance. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Cancer, this week. We have the Star, we have the Nine of Swords, clarified by the Moon. We have the Knight of Swords, clarified by the Queen of Cups. And we also have the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You could also be dealing with um, Pisces. I think this week is you about... It's all about you taking action. It's all about you uh, finally stopping... Uh, to worry about something and just going for it. Um, there is something on the table, some sort of an opportunity or perhaps you are being inspired by something or someone or you're getting a bright idea. The Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck, it is that offer, it is that bright idea, it is that inspiration, right? The star, the first card that came out, it could be an Aquarius you're dealing with, but the star is all about uh, some sort of a wish come true. And the star is usually about something that we wish for or hope for for a very long time. So perhaps you've been harboring this bright idea for a while, um, but you've been, uh, frankly, afraid to get this show on the road, right? Or get your point across. Perhaps you work for a company and uh, you think, you thought of a way to improve something at the company, but you've been afraid to voice it out, to let them know, to express your opinion, right? Uh, the Nine of Swords, clarified by the moon right there in the middle, that's you being really stressed out, being afraid, um, or perhaps you're afraid to start your own business if you have your own bright idea, right? So you've been kind of, you know, sitting there being anxious about it and uh, being afraid. <laughs> Right? But this week is all about taking action. The next card that came out is the Knight of Swords and it's clarified by the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is you, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And the Knight of Swords, this is uh, one of the fastest knights out of all four knights. But if you take a closer look at this Knight of Swords, this Knight of Swords is uh, going into action. This person is, on, is in the attack mode, right? This person uh, this Knight of Swords is all about moving forward, not being afraid. So you're going to forget all those fears, anxieties, and crap. <laughs> and uh, you're going to take action. You're going to move forward. If you want, you always wanted to start your own business, you're going to start your own business. If you always wanted to voice out your opinion about how you can improve something at your existing company, you're going to do it with the Knight of Swords. And I think it's going to pay off in a big way. All right? Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, uh, Cancer, this week. We have the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by Judgment. We have the Queen of Swords, we have the Empress, and we also have the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with um, an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. What you're not expecting is this Queen of Swords to come back from the past and make you some sort of an offer. This Queen of Swords could be an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And it could be anybody. It could be your ex-love interest, it could be a friend, it could be somebody you used to work with, uh, it could be a friend, right? The, the most important thing about this person that you need to know to identify them is this person did you wrong in the past. Um, the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of a betrayal, this is a card of um, somebody uh, breaking up with, the, with you, breaking your heart, um, just stabbing you in the back, whatever this person did that definitely broke your heart. You were not happy with what this person did. However, now they're ready to set the record straight with you, perhaps compensate you for that or offer you a better deal. Because they're coming in with the Ace of Pentacles offer and it's clarified by Judgment. Judgment is a card of somebody coming back from the past and the Ace of Pentacles is that offer. It's a golden opportunity, to be honest with you. So, like I said, perhaps this person wants to pay you back, to set the record straight, to compensate you for something, what they did. 
Um, and uh, the Empress, the last card I came out, the card by the deck, this is a card of abundance or financial abundance. Right, and I really like the fact that the Empress came out. It's one of the most positive cards in the deck. But I think ultimately it's going to be up to you whether you want to reconnect with this person or bury the hatchet or get back together with this person because the Three of Swords is not a good card to have. So can you forgive and forget and trust this person again? That's the question you'll have to ask yourself, Cancer. All right, so that's what I got for you, Cancer, uh, for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Also, please share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Cancer, have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing.